Hi, I'm James Blacklaw's JB Commercial Finance here. Um, there's been a few posts over the last few days I've seen on social media, and this is a subject I have touched upon over the last couple of months, and that's the broker's role with regard to the government schemes. And this is a very quick video just to clarify exactly what you can and can't expect from a broker. Um, excuse the noise in the background, one of the pitfalls from working from home is that neighbours are chopping a tree down, but hopefully you can still hear me. Now with regard to the bounce back loan, this is very simple. A broker cannot take instructions with regard to helping a client apply for a bounce back loan. In all honesty, the process is incredibly simple, it's a two page document and it shouldn't require a broker to be involved. Now if a broker wants to help a client with some general advice and pass them in the right direction, then that's absolutely fine as long as the fee's not being charged for this. I myself have had many, many customers call me or inquire about the bounce back loan and be more than happy to provide them with the basic facts, information about it, the pros and cons of it really, in my personal opinion, and then to direct them to their own bank, or if they can't get applied there for whatever reason, or their own bank doesn't offer it, then do a bank who is able to offer that particular facility. So that's how a broker should interact with regard to the bounce back loan. With regard to the Sybil's loan, it's slightly different. Now this is a larger facility and it's not an off-the-shelf product, which the bounce back loan is. So the Sybil's facility, if as a broker you want to interact with a client about it, that's fine. But you cannot charge an upfront fee and you cannot charge a fee as a percentage of the loan on completion. You can charge a very small fee for documentation work on completion of a successful loan application. My particular network have set their maximum of there at £495, so a relatively small fee for the amount of work involved, but it can be lower. Or you could do it for nothing if that's what you prefer. If you decide to apply for a Sybil's loan from an alternative provider, i.e. someone like the Funding Circle, then there is a commission paid by the lender to the broker on successful completion of the deal, so there's no upfront fees. Obviously, any fee should be agreed and signed for upfront before anything else happens, and everything should be outlined clearly to the client. So, just to clarify that, bounce back loans, no fee. No engagement, no signed exclusivity, nothing like that, or free advice. Sybil's loan, you can give free advice as much as you like, can't charge an upfront fee, and if you do charge a fee, then it's payable on completion of the, of the facility at the end, only when it's successful, and the guidelines issued by our, the National Association of Commercial Finance Brokers is that they should be limited to a relatively small amount. Um, if it's with an alternative provider who's paying a small commission to a guy like me, then no fee is charged to the client at all. The reason I'm mentioning this now is that I've seen brokers on LinkedIn and other social media platforms boasting about the amount of success they've had with the bounce back loan. And I believe this is in direct contradiction to the basically to, to what they should be doing as members of the FCA and of the NACFB. And I find that a little bit a little bit disturbing really, that they're boasting about successful applications for a facility where virtually every applicant is successful in actually applying. So I just wanted to clear up the broker's role in this. If people want to talk to me about the bounce back loan, I'm more than happy to tell them the pitfalls of it, more than happy to tell them whether I think they should be applying, more than happy to set out the rules for them. But as far as actually taking charge of the application process myself, I've been asked a couple of dozen occasions over the last couple of weeks to do so. The answer is no, you don't need my help. If you can run a business, you can apply for the bounce back loan. And if you can't, then you probably shouldn't be running the business and applying for the finance anyway. Hope that's cleared things up. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks a lot.